Hello Reagan students and welcome to the presentation entitled I just finished Algebra 2 now what? I know some of you watching this video haven't yet finished Algebra 2 but even so it is time to start thinking about what math class you're going to be taking next year. There are several things you should think about as you choose your math class. You want to be in a math class that's not too easy for you and not too hard for you. Many students sign up for math classes based on what their friends sign up for and that is not necessarily the best choice for them. I know that some of you struggle with math while others think math is the easiest class ever. Either way, you should make the choice based on what is best for you. When deciding on the right math class, you should consider several things and these things may change from year to year and from class to class. When you leave Algebra 2, there are many things that you should be thinking about when you make your choice for your next math class. First of all, your grade in Algebra 2, especially on the tests, because the tests are the best indicator of what type of student you are. Second is your work ethic. If you plan on going into many more upper level classes, you need to be a student who is diligent about homework, not a student who just puts it off to the last minute or a student who doesn't do it at all. So it's really important to think about that as you choose your course. The third thing you must think about is what your extracurricular activities are. If you're a very busy student outside of class, be aware that many of the upper level classes do require a lot of extra time for studying and for homework. And finally, what your endorsement and your future plans are. Many of you watching this video are not on the graduation plan that requires endorsements, but future plans is something you need to think about. Are you planning to major in a math or science related field? Are you planning to go to college at all? That really has a bearing on what course you take after Algebra 2. Now I want you to stop for a minute and I want you to think about which of these categories you would put yourself in as an Algebra 2 student. What kind of math student are you in Algebra 2? Because I will be referring to these categories as I talk about the options available to you and it really helps to pinpoint where you see yourself. The first category is what I call the struggler student. For you, math just really doesn't come easy. It may have come easy in previous courses, but now that you've hit Algebra 2, man, this is a really hard course for you. You often feel lost in class, and you failed some quizzes and tests throughout the year, and you just really, really struggle with this class. The second type of student is the standard student. For you, when you come into Algebra 2, some days you really understand the material. Other days you come in and it's just totally difficult for you. But overall, in the long run, you usually pass the quizzes and tests and you're doing okay. The third type of student is what I call the stellar student. For you, math is easy for you. You usually make A's on all your quizzes or tests. Sometimes you have to study to get those A's, sometimes you don't. But overall, you are an A student and what I would call a stellar student. So as we go through the choices, think about where you fit yourself and that will help you choose what course you could possibly take. The first option is a course called AQR. It is course number 2610. AQR stands for Advanced Quantitative Reasoning. Now that sounds like a very complicated math course, but it's really not. AQR is a project-based real-world math course that covers topics that you will see in math in everyday life, such as banking, such as taxes, such as interest on loans, and things like that. This is a good course for the struggling Algebra 2 student, or even a low standard. You should sign up for AQR if you passed Algebra 2 with a 70 to an 85. If you do not plan to go into a math or science related field, this is a good choice for you. And for those of you who are on the endorsements track, if you are getting either the arts and humanities, the business and industry, or the public service endorsement, this course is a good choice for you. So if you do not plan to go on to pre-calculus at any point throughout high school, you can take this course. If you do plan to go to pre-cal, we recommend that you go ahead and go to pre-cal pretty quickly after you finish Algebra 2. And I'll talk a little more about that as we continue through the slides. Option 2 is a brand new course for next year called Statistics. It is course number 2605. Now please do not confuse this with AP Statistics. 
AP Statistics is a lot harder than this course. And this is a good course for the struggling student and the lower standard student as well. It is a brand new course for next year. And it is a course that is very common in college. If you plan to go to college with any sort of degree, you will probably have to take a statistics course. So it's a good idea to be exposed to statistics in high school. So you should sign up for statistics if you passed Algebra 2 with a 70 to 85. You do not plan to go into a math or science related field. And it is also great for the three endorsements that I mentioned earlier, arts and humanities, business and industry, or public service. So pretty much AQR and statistics are equal as far as what level of student you are and signing up for those. The only difference is that if you want to take statistics, you have to change your graduation plan <clears throat> to the new foundations plan if you want to choose this math course. And if you are going to be a junior or senior next year, this applies to you. It sounds like it's a big deal, but it's really not. So if you want to do this and want to take a statistics course, you need to have a conversation with your counselor about making the change. All it is is the label that's on your transcript. It says foundations instead of recommended, and it's really not that big a deal. Statistics is a real-world math course that studies how to analyze statistical data, and it's much more like an English course than it is like a math course. There's a lot of reading involved, there's writing involved, and it's looking at charts and graphs and figuring out what they mean and what you can interpret from them. So if you tend to be a little bit stronger in English than you are in math, you may find statistics to be a very good choice for you. Option three is college algebra course number 2330. College Algebra is a very good choice for those of you who want to take pre-cal eventually or plan to go into a math and science eventually and just need a little more help with your algebra. You finished Algebra 2 with a, you were a stellar or a standard student on the low side and just didn't feel real comfortable about moving on to pre-cal yet. This would be a very good choice for you. So sign up for College Algebra if you passed Algebra 2 with a 70 to 85 you feel like you need a little more help with your algebra skills or if your endorsements like I said were the three that were mentioned earlier. If you are a STEM endorsement student and plan to go on to pre-cal you can still take college algebra first to brush up on your algebra skills. This course is also offered as a dual credit course so you can take college algebra dual credit and get a college credit for college algebra while still in high school. So you need to see your counselor for details on how to sign up for dual credit. So you can take it either as a dual credit course or as a non-dual credit course. So in summary, if you are a student who was a struggler or a low standard student in Algebra 2, you would like a little more help with your algebra skills before moving on to any more courses after this. And if you would like a dual credit on your transcript, then college algebra might be the best choice for you. Option four, the final option is pre-calculus, course number 2715. Pre-calculus is a course designed for the upper standard or for the stellar students, especially if you plan on going into a math or science related field in college. You should sign up for pre-calculus if your average in algebra two is 85 or higher and if you plan to go into a math or science related field or if you plan to have the STEM endorsement on your diploma. Now many many students sign up for pre-calculus who really don't need it and it is a much harder course than Algebra 2. So if you plan on majoring in something other than a math or science related field the only course that you may need at the college level is college algebra. You may not even need pre-calculus. So even if you're a stellar student or a upper standard student and you know for a fact that you're not going into a math or science related field, you may want to go ahead and choose college algebra over pre-calculus. Keep that in mind as you think about pre-calculus. Pre-calculus is what it says. It is a course preparing students for calculus. So if you do not plan on taking calculus either in high school or in college, it's really not necessary to take pre-calculus. Now finally, some of you may be thinking, oh, I want to go from Algebra 2 into pre-AP pre-calculus. We do not recommend this for any student. Every student in the past several years who has tried to make this jump has turned around and gone right back to regular pre-calculus. And there are several reasons why. 
first of all, there are two chapters that you are expected to know when you walk into pre-AP pre-calculus that were learned in pre-AP Algebra 2 that were not even covered in regular Algebra 2. So you would have to teach yourself two chapters of material on your own in order to make this jump. And it says on the slide that almost all students who try to take this course drop back to regular. I want to amend that. Every student who has tried to take this course has dropped back to regular. If you have any questions about this, please see me in my room. I'm Miss Bell in Utah 254. And finally, if you have any questions, there are a lot of choices here and you're not quite sure what to do. The best person to talk to is your math teacher. They know your skills in math better than anybody else. So if you're not sure which course you should take, ask them. They can give you a good unbiased answer of what they feel is best for you. If you have any other different questions, feel free to contact me. My name is Miss Bell. I'm the Dean of Math here at Reagan. My email address is on the screen right now and my room number is Utah254. The best time to catch me is before or after school. If you want to set an appointment, it'd be best to email me first and I will be sure to be there to talk to you. Thank you very much for watching and good luck in your next math course.